Hi everyone and welcome back to Make Me Unusual. If you are new here, thank you for joining us. And if you are not new here, thank you for returning. I am in full Valentine's Day glam. If you'd like to see this look, it is up on my Instagram. It is inspired by a face chart by Face Chartist. I will put their Instagram handle here. Now, uh, for today's video, I... I'm going to be unboxing all of the fragrances that I have bought this year so far. Um, so if you're interested in seeing what I've gotten, I've got seven fragrances to go over. It is the middle of February <laughs> right now. Um, but if you're interested in seeing what I got, then just stay tuned. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say. Um, do I wanna do this in order of how I got them? I could do that. So let's start with L'Entredit. Uh, this is L'Entredit Rouge by Givenchy. Um, I actually got this as a gift. This was a Christmas gift from my boyfriend well it, it was a, a late Christmas gift for my boyfriend so see that I love this I didn't think I would be so interested in the L'Entredit uh, line because they're tuberose fa um, based fragrances and like tuberose is a very strong note and I'm just it just astonishes me how different it can smell in fragrance in a different how different it can smell in each fragrance because you would think that because it's so strong and it's usually the most forward note if it's in a fragrance that they'd all start smelling the same I love this um, so the main accords for L'Entredit Rouge is warm, spicy, white floral, woody, tuberose, citrus, patchouli, earthy, animalic, powdery, and balsamic. The top notes are blood orange, ginger, middle notes are tuberose, jasmine, pimento leaf, base notes are sandalwood, patchouli, and vetiver. I've never tried the original L'Entredit or any other of them, to be honest. This is the first L'Entredit I've purchased. Um, I was really intrigued by the blood orange ginger top note situation. I did want um, L'Entredit Intense but I couldn't find that and I was interested in that sesame note so because I have so many tuberose based fragrances I'm trying to get like those that differ <laughs> the most from each other. Um, which is why I was interested in Rouge and Intense, um, just to have that th those bigger differences between the fragrances. But this, it's like, it is a tuberose based fragrance, you still get that sweetness, that white floral, but <clears throat> it's got a spiciness. To it and it's much more earthy and drier um, so it's almost like a tuberose wine versus like a bubblegummy tuberose and I just think it is so pretty it's such a it's it's such a sophisticated or a more sophisticated tuberose um, it is vastly different from the other tuberoses that I have in my collection, but I, I, I really like this. I think, I can't say anything compared to the rest of them, obviously, because I don't have or I've never smelled the rest of them, but in terms of just like a tuberose fragrance, if you want something that's a little bit more nighttime or a little bit more sophisticated, um, or serious this this would be it like I'm talking this if you 
if it was a Valentine's Day and you were going to dinner and you were wearing a red satin slip dress with this, better prepare for a fun ending to that night. Um, but yeah, that is <laughs> L'Entredit Rouge. Um, it is close, or in terms of what this perfume reminds people of, it is close to L'Entredit Intense, the original L'Entredit um, Rouge Malachite, which I have tried. I think Rouge Malachite is a little bit sweeter and louder than this is. Um, it's related to Juliet has a gun, mm, I don't prefer, mm, I don't think it's as interesting. And the only one intense, the only one intense on me has a very prominent coconut note. Um, this doesn't have that so I wouldn't say that they smell the same. Um, is also related to I don't need a prince to be a princess so princess by Killian um, I don't think it smells like that <laughs> either um, it just may be that too like that because there's two bros and it depends on if the two bros pulls the furthest for you um, but yeah I think this is a nice sophisticated not too sweet uh, kind of darker earthier two bros scent next fragrance that I got was actually Amouage Blossom Love. So if you've seen my my Amouage um, fragrance, my niche fragrance trials for Amouage, uh, this scent was featured in it and I loved it. Um, I said I was going to get it. I found it for a great deal. This is actually the gift set. I got it on FragranceNet and it comes like this just beautiful simple packaging the fragrance here and then um there's a body lotion so i'm sure you've seen this bottle it looks like this my favorite part about this entire bottle um is that the cap is magnetic sorry didn't do that the cap is magnetic I absolutely love that. Um, it's even like it'll face forward, so love that. My favorite part of this fragrance was my favorite part of this fragrance was the amaretto note. Um, so, like I've said in my fragrance try videos, is that it, fragrances perform differently depending on how you apply them so ver like if you roll them on versus dab them on versus spray them on so I try that out from a dabber bottle and then this is a spray the amaretto is not nearly as strong in this fragrance as a spray um, which I mean it's fine I still like the fragrance just not as much as I did in the like the fragrance try so I'm just being honest this is a little bit more uh, soapy and like mature compared to that um, and I do wear it as is I believe in that video I said it it didn't project it does project it, I said in that video that it projected but this is like beast mode. I, I very very sparingly spray this which means it's going to take me quite some time to get through this bottle. Um, very sparing, sparingly spray this. This reminds me of Caesar's Palace um, which is a fragrance my mom used to wear but yeah I wear it as is. I spray it lightly but if I want more of that like amaretto, I will spray an almond based fragrance with this as well. And that really gives me what I was getting um, during the fragrance trials. But I love this. I still love the scent. I know um, Blossom Love is a bit overrated, but if, like, if you like the scent, you like the scent. If you don't like the scent, you don't like the scent. It's pretty much all it is. 
Uh, I think just think the heliotrope comes out in this a little bit more than it did in the trial as well as the cherry blossom. So uh, the main accords for this are vanilla, floral, almond, fruity, powdery, amber, sweet, fresh, yellow floral, and rose. Top notes are heliotrope, bergamot, middle notes are amaretto, cherry blossom, ylang ylang, and rose, and the base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, suede, and amber. Um, in the dry down it does smell more like it did in the fragrance trials, but just like that beginning I really get that heliotrope, that cherry blossom, and it does give it more of a floral, uh, soapy, more mature scent. Um, but just to change up the vibe a little bit, I'll give it, I'll spray it with an almond based fragrance and that gives me more of that like amaretto vibe and I can wear it in a different occasion. So yeah, that is Blossom Love. <sighs> I can't wait to put this on display. So the next fragrance I have here is Good Girl Légeré. Um, so I have a good girl, sorry, very good girl, the red bottle. That's the lychee base scent. It doesn't really smell like the rest of this line, but I was going to get good girl Supreme and good girl Légeré. I sprayed both of them. I love them both. The first one that I could find was Légeré, and after wearing it, I don't think I'll be purchasing the Supreme because they're kind of like um in scent profile but yo <laughs> because like why is it so pretty it's the ombre shoe supreme is the sparkly black one um so the main accords are sweet lactonic white floral woody amber citrus and warm spicy top notes are ylang ylang mandarin orange lemon bergamot Middle notes are tuberose, jasmine, orange blossom, Bulgarian rose, and the base notes are duce de leche, praline, tonka bean, cinnamon, sandalwood, cashmere wood, amber, musk, patchouli, and cedar. This is basically like a sweet caramel <laughs> scent um, with some florals. But it's a nice kind of creamy, lactonic, like edible type fragrance. It's quite playful compared to the bottle. Like that was always my thing with Good Girl is it looks very sophisticated. But like the scent is very like playful, edible. Um, I guess it is seductive because like it's edible. <laughs> And it's not like bubblegummy happy edible, it's like deep, sexy, caramelly. <laughs> yeah, no, okay, I get it. Yeah, but I think this is going to be the the only um, of the good girl. So there's like good girl, good girl supreme, good girl legendary. I think this is the only one I'm going to get. Um, aside from very good girl that I have, but that's a lychee based scent and that's not even within the same profile but yeah I don't think I'm gonna get Supreme I'll I mean I'll never say never but I'm content with this it's a nice creamy caramelly um just like playful but also deep kind of scent it doesn't project project the loudest um and I do have to like go in with this but I think it's a nice really like cuddle scent so that is good girl Lizare. but this is of from one of the niche trials that I did do um so I did a niche fragrance trial video for Zerja in the Casamirati line and I tried, I think, three or four fake fragrances from that line. Um, I liked a lot of them. <laughs> I tried three or four. I, th I tried a few. I think there was like, there was more than four, maybe. But 
I tried I, I liked a few of those fragrances and one of them I was able to find and two of them are supposed to restock on the 21st so I might get those as well but the one that I was able to find and a reasonable price and in a small bottle because my biggest issue was that they were like the 50 50 mil sorry my biggest issue was that they were like 100 mil and I don't want 100 mil of like any fragrance but I found this in a 30 mil and the bottle may not be as like beautiful but it's still beautiful <laughs> um so I got Dolce Amalfi by Zerjoff in the Casamarati line and this is the box it is simply just so beautiful um so you get the full experience with the box and then you pull it out and there's the fragrance and I did unbox this on my Instagram stories um so you, if you follow me on Instagram you may have seen this but that is Dolce Amalfi now this is the 30 ml bottle like I said it is cute it is so cute but you get the it's this it's just the same bottle just smaller and without like the tassels and stuff but you still get the same thing it is so cute it is so nice i love 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 this dolce amalfi of the three that i am looking to purchase this one um like i really really liked it but it was my least favorite of the three just because i think it's less versatile so dolce Am dolce amalfi uh is the one that smells like gum bubble gum it smells so good like it smells like hubba bubba bubble gum and I really like this scent but I didn't need 100 milliliters of bubble gum <laughs> to any capacity so I got this uh, from perfume online I think um, so the main accords are warm spicy amber sweet fruity vanilla powdery balsamic and fresh top notes are kints cardamom apple and saffron main middle notes are cloves tolu balsam incense and the base notes are vanilla tonka bean amber cedar and musk this is a very well blended fragrance because like i said it just smells like hubba bubble bubble gum um but it's so good it is so good i it is so good but it has like a time and a place and like you don't always want to smell bu like bubble gum so i wanted a small bottle of this and to be honest i wasn't going to buy it unless i could find a 50 or smaller of this so when i found the 30 i just was like they make a 30 milliliter bottle done bought it so yeah that is dolce amalfi so i now have two no three um niche fragrances i have one by killian uh dolce amalfi and amouage blossom love so I almost don't want to get rid of the boxes they're so pretty like the presentation Anyways, so we have three fragrances left and they are all by the same brand mostly because I blind bought them and I wasn't quite sure which one to get um, I already know from now I might give away uh, two of these but I don't know which ones yet and I don't know if I'm dead set on that yet but I might Two of them. I'm gonna show you all three. I got three scents, all from Reminiscence. Uh, so there is Guimov, Drage, and Heliotrope. Um, here's my thing. They all. They're all okay. They're flankers of one another, so they all kind of smell the same. Um, so we're going to start with Heliotrope. This one smells the most different from the other two. Um, this one is an almond-based fragrance, so the main accords are vanilla, almond, powdery, sweet, fruity, woody, amber, nutty, warm, spicy, and floral. 
Top notes are fig and green notes. Middle notes are almond, uh, heliotrope, patchouli, sandalwood, <laughs> and cedar. The base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, benzoin, and musk. Um, yeah. I liked this scent on first inspection. When I first smelt it out of the bottle and on the card, I did like it. So this is what it looks like. Okay. It is a really pretty bottle. And these weren't expensive by any means. It's a really pretty bottle. Um, and out of the bottle and on the card, it smells like a green almond. No, it's not very sweet. It's kind of just like a green almond with floral notes. I did wear this the other day and it turned to like literal Play-Doh on my skin. And uh, for that, I may be getting rid of this scent. It smells so good out of the bottle and I was looking for a different kind of almond note because I kind of have like similar scented almond fragrances. This one was a green almond which I was excited for but on me this smells like play-doh. So I might keep it. I just got these like last week. Um, so I might keep it and let it rest longer and see um if that changes but right now i don't love it so that is uh heliotrope by reminiscence the next two kind of smell the same uh so we'll go over guimauve first because it smells or it is supposed to be a dupe for love don't be shy by killian so the bottle looks like this, and this is the 100 milliliter. The other one was uh, 50. The uh, Heliotrope was 50 milliliters, and this is Guimauve. This is 100 milliliters. The bottles are stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Main accords for Guimauve are vanilla, aromatic, citrus, fresh, spicy, sweet, almond, green, powdery, woody, white, floral. Top notes are... Almond, lavender, mint, rosemary, tangerine, orange, green notes, sea notes, bergamot. <laughs> Middle notes are neroli, pettigrain, jasmine, and black pepper. The base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, musk, sandalwood, ambergris, patchouli, and cedar. Everything. The, the, the notes are everything. They have everything in it. I haven't worn Guimauve or Drage on my skin yet. Um... Like I said, I just got them last week. So, this smells like a softer, more soapy, um, love don't be shy. And not like a strong, fancy soap, just like a clean, sweet soap. So if you got like a marshmallow scented soap, that's what this smells like. Um, I don't hate it. I haven't tried it on me yet. Like I said, I kind of want to since we're here and talking about it. Yeah, it's giving the same thing it's giving out of the bottle. It's just like a sweet soap. Sweet marshmallow soap. I don't hate it. It kind of smells like detergent. Um, however, to me, love don't be shy kind of smells like detergent too. And this is significantly cheaper than that, so. Mm-hmm. 
yeah it does remind me of love don't be shy it's just not as thick yeah so it's not as thick and it's much soapier kind of like a fresh spicy undertone to it but that is Guimauve so I might keep that I do have a dupe of love don't be shy but they smell kind of different so I might keep that one we'll see if I do end up reaching for it and the last one I have and the last fragrance I have in total is a Drage. Um, this was actually a recommendation I can't remember the name of the YouTube channel but I will put um, their handle here so the main accords are floral sweet vanilla citrus white floral powdery musky fruity almond warm spicy the top notes are mandarin orange cardamom and pettigrain and the middle notes are almond blossom orange blossom and plum the base notes are vanilla musk and cedar i'm gonna drop the fragrance but it looks like that so it's the same bottle as the other two except this one is white So it's the same bottle as the other two, except this one is white. This one doesn't smell like Love Don't Be Shy. This one smells like those almond candies. It smells good. The only thing is it kind of giving me medicinal vibes so if it goes in that direction then we might have a problem but yeah it smells like those almond candies those like candy coated almonds it's not too strong it's quite nice it's not sharp but it's got like a very sweet candy sweetness to it All in all, I don't have anything that smells like this, so out of all of them, my favorite is Drage, and I'm inclined to keep Drage. Um, we'll see if I reach for Guimauve um, and Heliotrope. I'm kind of inclined to get rid of because of that play doniness that it was giving me. But yeah, that is everything that I have. Oh, well, those are all of the fragrances that I have purchased. Since this year, or that's all the fragrances that I've purchased since the beginning of this year. Um, so it's my first fragrance haul. I really, actually I was going to say I think the next one will be like for the VIP sale, but I have two fragrances that I already said I was going to be purchasing on the 21st if they come out. So yeah, we might have another one of these fairly soon. So, so if you do like these videos or like my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. It does help me out a lot. But yeah, if you'd like to join the family, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.